Hey everybody, last time I was out here, I didn't know how to hold the camera. It was my first video. So this time I'm actually going to be doing it correctly. And today we're just gonna be looking under some different things around this trail that I'm at in Oregon, seeing if we can't find any salamanders, reptiles. It's starting to be spring, so there's a possibility for northern alligator lizards and some gardener snakes. Um, rubber boas could be out here today. I don't know. We're just going to check it out and yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. Okay, so got our first herp of the day. Can you guys see him? I see his tail. There he is. Little red back. Oh no. Yeah, there he is. Little red back salamander. These guys are really common in this area love them this guy's actually pretty tiny we're gonna make sure he gets back go in that hole so i can cover you get back right where we found him place the rock right over top of him and there we go he's actually not gonna get crushed now but yeah just on the side of this hill right on the side of the trail here A little no northwestern redback salamander let's see what else we can find okay so we got another back here this guy's oh he's going crazy he's a lot bigger really pretty another yellow back up oh, there he goes try to see if we can get him close to that hole there yeah there he goes but yeah another yellow back with the red backs they can be so many different colors um i forgot the exact word for it dimorphic something um but basically it's the same species can have a red back, a yellow back, an orange back. They're just gorgeous. I'll have to show you some of the captive pairs I have at home, but let's keep looking. All right, so really haven't been finding much like different species, but right here, let's see if you guys see them. There's a really pretty red back. He has a really orange back here. Yeah, that guy's really pretty, actually. Almost, almost a speckling to his body. Really pretty little guy. Awesome. Come back here. He's really beautiful. All right, so yeah, one of my first, I don't honestly know if this is a garter. The head almost resembles exactly like a garter, but I know we have a couple of, of racers and different things like that here. That guy is beautiful. First snake of the day. Perfect. I haven't been finding snakes in so long. He's a little bit, little bigger than a juvenile here, but... This is really cool. Try to see if I can show him off a little bit. Awesome, just chilling right under this rock. We're gonna let him go. Awesome. Let's see if we can find any more. That's awesome, first reptile. So this is pretty cool to see. Redback salamanders actually do not um, have you know, the larval stage. So this is a baby redback, but you see how tiny it is? That thing has just been born. Really cool. Just a little baby one right under this rock. Let's keep looking. I'm hoping we can find that out, you lizard. So here, I believe this is a baby duns. That is really cool to see right under this rock. So I've seen three salamanders from that one with the adult duns under it. This one here that I need to put back had a red back that actually ran away from me. He had a really pretty back. And now I found this little baby duns. Really cool to kind of see all the different life stages. Let's see what else we can find. I'm hoping to see um, some Essentinas out here today. That'd be awesome. Okay, here we go. So this... He's a very, oh, he's getting away. 
This is a very beautiful redback salamander. Those are the guys that I really like to see. Oh, come here, buddy. Yeah, he has almost a really orangey back. Just set that gently right over top where it was. And yeah, I flipped this log also. More of these cyanide creating monsters. They don't actually pose a threat to us. It's only the things that eat them. So as long as you're not going around eating them, you'll be all good. All right. Since I've been having such good luck, this is... Just keep it rolling. Nothing under there. Ooh, that's a good stick. Nothing. Oh, there we go. So right here, it looks to be another dun salamander. Oh. Come on, buddy. He really does not want to be seen. Maybe, maybe he got away. Well, we saw it on camera. Dun salamander under this rock here. Pretty awesome. Let's keep looking. That there's pretty neat. So this is a giant millipede i'm not really sure what the whole name for them are but i find them a lot in this area they spit that shit on you i'm pretty sure that's not good for you either ew i'm pretty sure that's also kind of like the other millipedes in this area but it's a cool find Another really cool thing in my area, there it is, are these giant red centipedes. So they're not actually giant. Let's see if I can, yeah. They're not actually giant, they're just really brightly colored. I have a captive one at my home, um, and I've been feeding him crickets. He's super cool, but they can get to four inches long, which is pretty cool. Yeah. I really never get sick of these dumb salamanders. They always show up, but they're so pretty. There you go, buddy. Such a gorgeous little animal, though. All right, right after that dun salamander, I found this garden, garter snake, I believe that's what they called. Um, when I was younger, I always called them garter snakes, but this is the third one I found since I've recently started herping again. I only used to herp when I was little, but recently I've gotten my passion for it again, and really fun to actually catch another gardener snake i spent my whole childhood finding these guys very pretty let's let this guy go he's the biggest one i've seen in so long just because i haven't really herped in so long so cool he's freaking out though i need to get him back to the breath so that he feels a little safer awesome find right back where i found him bye buddy He'll go off and do his own thing. Really, really pretty animal. I'm so glad I saw that today. All right, so I really like to check a lot of these little outcropping. Are these even called outcropping? Maybe I'm just dumb. But I always like to check all these rocks on the side of the trail here. Let's see what I can... Oh, I know I'm losing my footing. Oh! Little red back here. Oh, sorry, buddy. Oh, yep, yeah, there he goes. Let me make sure. Oh, he's trying to run away. Make sure he gets back under his rock. And let's keep flipping. Oh, that's kind of cool. A big banana slug. Yes. I always hated them when I grew up because touched one and the slime just freaked me out. But now I think they're really cool. I'm actually 
I want to crush that guy. There we go. Alright. Let's keep looking. Get out of this brush. I'm going to see if I can find a better spot. Okay, so that's going to be everything for our herping video. But one last thing I just wanted to show you guys. While I was out, I, w I didn't film it because I didn't know if anyone would really see if this guy was interesting. But caught this guy. It's a water scavenging beetle. Really cool. It's, it's large, which is why I decided to pick him up. I'm going to be putting him in one of these tanks. I really like the look of him. I think he's going to be really cool, so I might make him his own jar that's maybe a gallon or so that's, you know, enough for this guy, but I need to do more about their care requirements first. Could be putting him in here, but I just don't want him to eat any of my tadpoles or anything. I need to see how, see how predatory he actually is first. Yeah.